Marginal revenue is an important economic measurement because it measures the amount of benefit the firm gets for producing a good. In videos on perfect competition, monopoly, oligopoly, and monopolistic competition, you will learn that this is an important element in helping the firm decide what to produce. In this video, you will learn the definition of marginal revenue, the formula for calculating marginal revenue. The formula is the difference between the two levels of marginal revenue divided by the difference in the two levels of production. The process, you also learn the process of calculating marginal revenue. The marginal revenue is the amount of additional revenue generated by the production of an additional unit of output. There are two formulas associated with the marginal revenue. The first formula is more conceptual or telling us what the term means than a useful one for calculations. The formula is the change in total revenue divided by the change in total production. The little triangle before the terms total revenue and total production is the Greek letter delta, which is used by economists to represent the word change. The second formula is more useful for calculating the marginal revenue and gives us an estimate of the marginal revenue of a firm. The table represents some information mostly about revenue, but there are a few other columns that are interest to us in later videos. The scenario used to put the table together is the same context that was used to represent the revenue of the firm which produces printers. A copy of the table is available on the website and you may wish to print it out so you can work along with the video. Let's take a moment or two to review the columns. The first column represents the total production of the company. Since the table represents a firm which makes printers, the total production column represents the number of printers a firm manufactures or produces during some amount of time. For example, six in the total production column represents a production of six printers. The price column represents the price of the printers. In our example, the printer company sells the printer for $7, a very unrealistic price, but makes the calculations easier. The next column represents the total revenue of the firm. The total revenue is found by multiplying the total production times price. In the example on the screen, the total production is 6 and the price is 5, and by multiplying 6 times 5, gives a total revenue of 42. The next column represents total cost. Total cost is the amount of money spends on producing the good. The fifth column is the average revenue from the sale of the firm's product. Another video on average revenue showed that the average revenue is equivalent to price. The sixth column is the marginal revenue column, which is the amount of additional revenue earned by the firm for each additional unit of output. In this video, you will learn how to calculate it. The final column is the total prof profit, which will be calculated in another video. Let's take a look at the process of calculating the marginal revenue. Instead of putting the full table on the screen, let's look at the first four rows of numbers, starting with the line where the production is zero. The marginal revenue cannot be calculated for the first row because to calculate the marginal cost, it is necessary to have two levels of total production and two levels of total revenues. And since there is only one available at the total production of zero, we cannot calculate the marginal revenue. As a result, enter NA or dash in the first row of numbers for the marginal revenue. Let's move on to the next row where the firm produces one printer. The first step is to write down the formula, the quantity of TR2 minus TR1 divided by the quantity of TP2 minus TP1. 
once you've written down the formula, you will need to choose TR1, TR2, TP2, and TP1. Locate the second row of numbers on the total revenue column and write on TR2 next to the number. Next, locate the first row of numbers in the total revenue column and write TR1 next to it. Locate the second row of numbers in the total production column and write TP2 next to it. Next, locate the first row of numbers under total production column and write TP1 next to it. Once the formula is written down and the levels of total revenue and total production labeled, the marginal revenue can be calculated. Locate TR2 on the table and locate TR2 in the formula. Notice that TR2 in the table is associated with a total revenue of 7. Next, replace TR2 with 7 from the table. Next, locate TR1 on the table and locate TR1 in the formula. Notice that TR1 on the table is 0. Replace TR1 in the formula with 0 from the table. Locate TP2 on the table and locate TP2 in the formula. Notice that TP2 in the table is associated with one unit of production. Replace TP2 from the table into the formula. In this case, we'll replace TP2 with 1. Locate TP1 on the table and locate TP1 in the formula. Notice that 0 is associated with TP1 in the table. Replace TP1 with 0 in the formula. Next, subtract 0 from 7 or do the calculation 7 minus 0. This gives 7. Next, subtract 0 from 1 or do the calculation 1 minus 0 which gives 1. Next, divide 7 by 1, which gives 7. Finally, transfer the answer to the table in the second row under the marginal revenue column. Next, move TR1, TR2, TP2, TP1 down one row of the table. If you're feeling comfortable with the next step, pause the video and see if you can complete the next step of the process on your own. If you're not feeling comfortable with the next step, you will be guided as to what you need to do. The next step is to write down the formula for calculating the marginal revenue. The quantity of total revenue 2 minus the total revenue 1 divided by the quantity of total production 2 minus total production 1. If you're feeling comfortable with the next step, pause the video and see if you can complete the next step on the process with your own. If you're not feeling comfortable, with the next step, you will be guided as to what you need to do next. Next, locate total revenue 2 on the table and locate total revenue 2 in the formula. Notice that 14 is associated with total revenue 2. If you're feeling comfortable with the next step, pause the video and see if you can complete the next step in the process. If you're not feeling comfortable with the next step, you will be guided to do the next step. Replace TR2 in the formula with 14. If you're feeling comfortable with the next step, just pause the video and see if you can do it on your own. If you're not feeling comfortable, continue watching. 
Next, locate TR1 on the table under the total revenue column and locate TR1 in the formula. Notice that 7 is associated with TR1 on the table. If you're feeling comfortable with the next step, please pause the video and see if you can complete it on your own. If you're not feeling comfortable, continue watching. Replace TR1 in the formula with 7. If you're feeling comfortable with the next step, pause that video and see if you can complete it on your own. Next, locate TP2 in the production column and locate TP2 in the formula. Notice that 2 is associated with TP2. So, if you're feeling comfortable with the next step, please pause the video and try it on your own. Replace TP2 in the formula with 2 and if you're feeling comfortable with the process just pause the video for a moment and try it on your own. Next, locate TP1 on the table and in total production column and in the formula. Notice that 1 is associated with TP1 in the table. If you're feeling comfortable, try the next step on your own. Replace TP1 in the formula with 1. Next, subtract 7 from 14, or do the calculation 14 minus 7. This gives 7 as an answer. If you're feeling comfortable with the next step, pause the video and give it a try. Next, subtract 1 from 2, or do the calculation 2 minus 1, which gives... One. If you're feeling comfortable with the process, please feel free to pause the video and try it on your own. Next, divide 7 by 1. Which gives 7. Next, transfer the 7 into the third column of the marginal revenue table. You might want to try calculating the next marginal revenue by yourself. If you're feeling comfortable, just pause the video and try to work out the answer on your own. Next, write down the formula for calculating the marginal revenue. Next, move TR2, TR1, TP2, and TP1 down one row. Locate on the table the total revenue column and locate TR2 in the formula. Notice that 21 is associated with TR2. Replace TR2 with 21. Next, locate TR1 on the table in the total revenue column and locate TR1 in the formula. Notice that 14 is associated with TR1. Next, replace TR1 with 14. Next, locate TP2 in the total production column and in the formula. Notice that 3 is associated with the total production at TP2. Next, substitute 3 into the formula for TP2. Next, locate TP1 in the production column and in the formula. Notice that 2 is associated with the total production at TP1. Next, substitute 2 in the formula for TP1.
Next, subtract 14 from 21, or do the calculation 21 minus 14. This gives 7. Next, subtract 2 from 3, or do the calculation 3 minus 2, which gives 1. Next, divide 7 by 1, which gives 7. Finally, transfer the 7 into the table under the marginal revenue column. Here's a table that includes the calculations you just completed. Take some time to practice calculating the marginal revenue by pausing the video and filling the blanks with your answers. Here's the table that shows the correct answers for the marginal revenue. In this video you learned the definition of marginal revenue, the formula for calculating the marginal revenue. The formula is the difference between two levels of marginal revenue divided by the difference in two levels of production. You also learned the process of calculating marginal revenue. There's one key thing to remember that the marginal revenue will not always be constants but may change with different levels of production.